Now, this past weekend was CCXP, which I believe is Brazil's big Comic-Con, and we weren't expecting much. And then they just go, <laughs> here's a bunch of stuff, except for DC stuff, but uh, there might be of reasons course. for well, But there's reasons for that. <laughs> but there's a reason for that. Uh, but we'll first, by starting off, we'll start off talking about the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer. And I'll be honest, of all the trailers that dropped at CCXP, I think this is the best. Like, a, oh, yeah. the job of a trailer is to get your anticipation and just bump it up. I was at least curious about Guardians because I liked the first one quite a bit. I was very much disappointed with Guardians 2, but mm -hmm. I chalked it up to James Gunn was going through a lot in his own personal life at the time, so maybe he was... Maybe his mind was elsewhere and he couldn't, like, hone in as, mu as well as he could in the first one. But then The Suicide Squad came out, and I absolutely love that. It's my favorite DC movie so far. Uh, Peacemaker's fantastic. So I was like, all right, maybe James Gunn is evolving his style as a director. It's like, mm -hmm. all right, I'm getting more and more on board with Guardians 3. Then this trailer comes out. Guys, I don't think I'm ready for how much I'm going to cry in this movie that I was not <laughs> expecting to cry in. Yeah, Because, yeah. like, they're clearly going for a you better get ready to say goodbye to these type of characters. And we kind of figured there's one character in particular that I've been saying since Endgame has a big old target on the back of his head, but we'll talk about that in a little bit here. Mm -hmm. This is a much more emotional story than I was expecting. And once again, James Gunn with the perfect music selection. Like, oh, I'm I'm very much looking forward to seeing what music he brings to the DC universe, but yeah. the music was perfect. The camera work looks outstanding. My only complaint, and this is super nitpicky, I don't know how I feel about Adam Warlock's design. It's <laughs> it's very much an MCU design. I'll say that. Um, yeah. But besides that, oh, oh, this trailer got me in the feels and I was not expecting to be got in the feels. Josh, Guardians Volume 3 trailer. What'd you think? It yeah, it, it definitely caught me off guard. It definitely like I'm like you loved the first one. The second one is fine but good it's it's not like definitely not to the level of the first one is but it's still it's watchable um the and so like the definitely because of all the projects that james the james gunn has been doing up to this point there definitely was some um some anticipation on my part here as well but um I was not emotionally ready for what actually ended up happening in the trailer um definitely uh, gonna hit hard in the in the fields, which is something that we heard from what was it, San Diego Comic Con, where they they kind of, they did show it to the to the to the people in the room, and they they were basically saying like, yeah, this is gonna be a lot more emotional than the than the first two. Um, I also like coming off on the heels of the if you haven't seen the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, it's fantastic, and it definitely like more of that please uh, but like the um, having that knowing that mantis is going to be existing in this movie as well it's like it, it definitely going to be a lot more emotional um to say the least uh now um the thing with the adam warlock st is and like i understand pausing is a thing but you do like even if you pause it it is he's there for barely a second or two so i would be i'm i'm a little bit more forgiving on that just because you don't you we really don't see much of his design um that being said boy be looking jacked um uh so but yeah man i i think um do you want to get into kind of what we're because of the trailer with our predictions? As yeah, let's get into some theories happen. here because boy, so there's I, you can formulate a lot of theories here. You can absolutely. I I will not be surprised if Rocket does not make it out of this movie. Um, I also would not be surprised if Drax does not make it out of this movie. Um, I personally, I think the only people that are getting out of there alive is potentially Groot mantis and star lord and that's it if that um i wouldn't be surprised if this is like an actual true goodbye in some way shape or fashion so uh before i get into my predictions i almost forgot about this how good do their uniforms look ah uh, yes like <laughs> oh my god the only thing missing is i need star lord to have that classic comic book accurate full helmet and then yes. my life will be complete 
because I love how they look. It looks so good. Uh, now, for my theories, I don't think you're far off with Rocket. I have been saying since Endgame, I think Rocket is the prime candidate to die. And it's, and it's only been solidified by further things that James Gunn has said by this trailer. He's like, yeah, we'll delve more into Rocket's backstory. I'm going, oh boy. That's like saying I'm one <laughs> day away wait. from retirement. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But also, you got to look at it from the lens of Rocket's been around a lot longer than the rest of his teammates in terms of almost all of them got dusted away except for him yeah. and Nebula. So he's had a little bit extra time to shine. And maybe I'm just trying to think of like, oh, let's get everyone's screen time equally. And I know that's not how it works, but I'm just like, I think Rocket has had. He's more primed for this great arc of being where he yeah. is in the first one too. That beautiful line of, I'm done running, Pete. And I'm going, you're not calling him Quill? You're actually calling him by his first name? I'm going, oh, no, yeah. stop it. Uh, but also, it looks like he's on some operating table of like, we'll all fly away one last time. I'm going, stop it. Into the great forever. Oh, my God. And also, I mean, Fantastic. we meet his otter girlfriend. and I'm, Which I'm super stoked for. Of like, course you are. She's like, okay, you know what? <laughs> I, I okay i know i understand okay <laughs> but i'm just excited to see like rocket um react affectionately to someone that's not made of bark um which groot looks fan like super cool he, it's boy, still like, kind of weird to me i'm still getting the, used to it i'm still <laughs> getting you because it's again people disclaimer it's a different Groot than what we got in the first guardians back in right. 2014 it is his son that group that we know from the first one is dead and has been since 2014 this is a different one so more or less you could say rocket is his dad type of thing yeah um which is gonna he be is horrible jacked man you, is on the gas <laughs> yeah he is but i'm just already imagining when rocket dies the we are groot that'll come out of Groot when he does because or i think Rock is the prime candidate to die, and I think I've thought that for years, and uh, just further thinking that even more. Very close behind, I think, is Drax. Now, there's a couple mm -hmm. fake-outs of, like, misdirections here of who could die. I think Rock's the most obvious. There's that shot in the trailer where it looks like Drax has been shot through the chest. I'm like, mm -hmm. that seems like it could be a bait-and-switch. But also, with how much Batista badmouth Disney, I wouldn't be surprised if, yeah. like, you can kill him off, because... Batista's made it very clear of, I will finish this movie for Guardians, for James, and then I'm getting the heck out of Disney. And Disney's going, okay, fine with us. Um, however, I think there's one other candidate that might be a long shot, but I think after Drax and Rocket is the highest likelihood of dying, and that's Star-Lord. I think... Uh, yeah, I can see that too. I think just his arc of becoming an actual natural leader of just from seeing the little snippets of him in the holiday special and how he interacts in love and thunder, which I hated it, but I actually liked the guardians for the most part in that he feels much more like he's becoming his own natural leader, as opposed to just kind of making stuff up on a fly. He feels like the connective tissue that's holding this dysfunctional family together. So I can maybe see him dying, but then like Adam Warlock takes his spot somewhere on the roster. Maybe Gamora becomes the leader of the Guardians. And then you've got Kraglin still there kind of taking on a bigger role. I think those three are the most likely to die. I don't think Nebula's dying. Gamora's already no. died once, so she's not going to die again. Same thing as yeah. Groot. Groot's not going to die again. You better not kill Mantis. <laughs> no. Yeah, because Mantis is like, she has my heart and soul now. Mantis like, is precious. She is seriously one of the best parts about the holiday special. Um, I, and, oh, man. Besides, I, I, I wouldn't be re ready for that. Besides the gorgeous visuals and the fantastic music choice, I think my favorite part about this trailer is seeing Drax dodgeball child in the face. Like, I <laughs> laughed so hard at that. Just going, oh, oh that's wonderful. <laughs> I said, I love the, the last line in the trailer, too, after this, like, really, like, in typical gun form, um, this really serious Why emotional make it so moment. Sad? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to kill one guy. One guy. Yo, you're not going to kill anybody. But he's going to be sad and nobody will miss him. <laughs> like, oh, God. It, it, it'll be a good time no matter what. 